Hi, this is Steven. I'm going to show you how to use uh, finishings, the new finishings. It shares the same code base as, uh, as the floor, so it's uh, uh, much more powerful. And uh, I will show you how to, how to use them. Finishings are, uh, are name based, so when two finish share the same name, if I apply this finishing, it used both of them. In this case, we have the first one which is vertical and the second one which is horizontal. And as you can see, there is an offset from all for one of, of them. So we can see here, this one has 44 cm offset, so it is the, 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 the outside one. And if I rotate 45, you can uh, see the, 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 the effect. The other one is, uh, is the, the, are the vertical part uh, here. It is based on the, on the boards with max board one, which means uh, it always use one board to build the the, the whole lens. If I set it up to more than once, it will uh, make make parts as it will have with with uh, a floor uh, board. Uh, one new thing you can see here: I got uh, two two tiles, which are in fact, uh, if I set it up here tiles on the segment three that's here pattern are always starting at the left of the of the the, 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 the segment uh, which means the the, the, the the border of the pattern start uh, here press in precise precise way but each segment you say on, on, on segment setting, we are able to offset this one. Uh, I disable the, the, the quick edit, so that's good. And now we can see the outside outside of offset in effect. So I'm able to to set a precise location of the the pattern for each segment. Here we have two patterns stacked. As you can see here, we have two patterns. This one is the, the, the small one with a 10 cm height, and the other one is uh, starting at 10 cm with 2 m height and 45 uh, degree rotation. I can set it that way. The parameter you can see here are shared uh, in uh, with uh, with uh, ground uh, with flooring one. We can also use a, a brand new one, which is if I take the nine, which is a user de defined pattern. User defined pattern use. Uh, I'm using here the, the that object, the cube, and if I enable it here, for example, using my finish, it's a bit slower, but uh, it do the job. I must also pay attention at not solidifying because it can cause trouble or if I'm using a flat pattern I can use uh, the, the, the modifier here Uh, 
Here you can see many patterns. Each one can be copied. When you copy, it, it will copy any any finishing with the same name into the the into the the, the clipboard, and then you can paste it. So now I got two brick pattern and naming it naming it the uh, the different so I can use either one or the other so this is the, the basic uh, for the, the wall pattern. Um, I, I usually, um, I do set up many patterns on a single wall sample. I just create for my project, and then I copy past from uh, from the, 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 the wall sample. So uh, usually you, you won't end with uh, with uh, ten uh, ten different pattern on a, on a single wall. You can also uh, always override uh, new pattern for uh, for any part. We are using two segments in order to get different pattern on on halfway of a, of a wall. As you can see here, we got uh, two segments. So that's it for the for the 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 wall uh, finishings